Hi there, it's Pam here, and welcome to Tiger in the Kitchen. So the dish I'm going to be sharing with you today is another Thai spicy salad I've been obsessed with lately. It has the combination of every test element. If you like some tam or green papaya salad, then I bet you'll like this one too, tam khao pot or spicy corn salad. Here's the ingredients, simple and colorful. First, we need sweet corn. This is still raw, we'll boil them shortly. Green beans. A carrot. Tomatoes, I'm using baby plum tomatoes today. It can be any tomato you like. Some peanuts. For seasonings, we are using a few cloves of garlic. Chilies, I'm using both fresh and dried ones because I love it spicy. Adjust the spice to what you like. Limes, fish sauce, palm sugar, I'm using a hard type today. If you don't have it, don't worry, you can use brown sugar. And syrup. Alright, let's move to the stove. For peanuts, I love the toasty smell, so I'm gonna dry toast them first. Use as much as you like. Just keep it moving until they turn a little brown and then set them aside. Now let's boil the sweet corn. Put enough water to cover the corn and leave it until it boils. Then put some salt in it. These are medium-sized sweet corn. I'm using two of them for two portions. Put them in and then leave it in the pot for about 10 minutes. During the corn is cooking, let's prepare something else. Normally, when a menu begins with the word tam, it means cooking something in mortar and pastel, but I get it, not everyone has them. And for tam khao po, you only need mortar and pastel to pound a few things like garlic, chili, and green beans really, then end up mixing with a spoon anyway. So you can follow this way, grab a bag, a sandwich bag, ziplock bag, whatever you have. Cut the long green beans into short green beans, 1 to 2 inches length. Now put the green beans, garlic and chili in the bag. Grab any of your handy kitchen weapon. Then smack these three roughly. If you are not sure how many chilies you want to put, mash chili separately, then you can add the chili a little bit by bit and taste after. And you can also do this with some tam. I used to post recipes of some tam without using mortar and pastel before. If you want to check it out later, the link for you is in description. And alright, set these three aside. Palm sugar, the hard type. To make it dissolve easily, we are going to thinly slice it and we need about 2 tablespoons of it. A small technique to get the most juice from limes is to roll it first. For easy squeeze and juice it out easily, stand the fruit on its stem end Cut it in lengthwise laps around the central core and squeeze away. We're going to need 4 tablespoons of lime juice, so how many lime depends on what size you have and if the limes you have are juicy or not. You know, some seasons the lime can be really stingy with its juice. Tomatoes, cut in half, recommend to use smaller species for its crunchiness. Carrot, peel and shred it. Okay, 10 minutes later, the corn is ready. Remove and run cold water through it to reduce the heat, or you can soak in iced water, anything convenient for you. Slice off the kernels, try to keep them in big pieces. Looks lovely. Now let's toss everything in a mixing bowl. Put 
put two tablespoon palm sugar, two tablespoon fish sauce. Four tablespoon lime juice. One tablespoon syrup. Any syrup. Normally I would use my own homemade one, but got this for pancakes anyway, so I'd go for this one. Then keep stirring because we want to dissolve the palm sugar. Then the green beans, garlic, and chili that we mashed. Like I mentioned, if you are not sure how many chilies to put, mash the chili separately and add the mashed chilies at last, a little bit by bit, then taste until it gets to your spice level. Once the seasonings are mixed well, add shredded carrot, tomatoes. The sweet corn don't forget the toasted peanuts give it a gentle toss for this menu, salted duck eggs are also another topping option to add. If you want more texture, that creamy, light salty taste, highly recommend. But we have many other things going along with this lovely thumb cup pot, so I leave the duck egg out and save it for my congee. Oh, smells so good. And look at that colorful little salad. We also have grilled chicken, bangers, and sticky rice that I took only an hour to cook in a microwave. It's really a cool sticky rice hack that I also used to share. You can check the link out in description. And that's it for a pot or a spicy corn salad. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumb up. See you next recipes and have an amazing day. สวัสดีค่ะ